I got called a jackass today on YouTube. How amazing. I guess when you try to... <clears throat> I guess maybe I could use some better tact, but... I guess when you try to use... I don't know, facts and reasons or common sense with a truster or a uh, truther or a conspiracy theorist. These types of people are the types that will absolutely positively refuse to allow scientific fact to get in their way. Are we still trusting Sessions? Are we still trusting the plan? What's Sessions doing now that he holds no government position whatsoever and is desperately trying to ride on Trump's shirt tail to get reelected? Hmm. I think that's a good question. But however, don't tell a you know, don't tell a truster that. Well, you gotta understand they're playing 4D chess. Right, they're playing 4D chess, sure. But I heard that term today while I read it, truster, and I really liked it. Um, I do not doubt there's something wrong. Uh, we know the cabal is real, or the deep state, or whatever the heck you want to call it. But it goes back further than a lot of people realize if you think I'm just talking some crazy crap, look up Prescott Bush. Prescott Bush is Bush Sr.'s daddy, and he tried to initiate a military coup against the federal government. I think it was in 1940 or 1941. Maybe it was 39. It was in that time period. Just Google the guy. Anyway, I kind of find it kind of funny, Bush Sr.'s daddy tries to initiate a coup against the federal government and still manages to become the head of the CIA, the vice president, the president, and G.W. Bush somehow manages to become the president. See, I'm not a Republican fanboy. I'm more of a libertarian. I'm definitely not a Democrat. So, we know it goes back at least that far. And I think what has these people so upset that Trump is not one of them, apparently. But, that being said, I am not on the Trump train anymore, as I've said a lot of times. There's no reason for some of these people that tried to start the most recent coup that are not in jail yet. Solomon was saying there's a chance a few of these might be indicted soon. I'm not holding my breath. But however, you know, don't tell a truster that, you know, we got to trust Sessions. We got to trust the plan. I remember when they were saying Bob Mueller was really a white hat and he was using the Trump investigation, you know, to as a cover to go after child traffickers and whatnot. That's what one of the trusters said. I don't know if that was the official Q narrative, but I find it funny that once Mueller gets before Congress at a hearing, that guy is so senile, he cannot find his butt with a road map a searchlight, and a GPS. But yet, he's somehow one of the great people behind the scenes that's part of the plan to go after these people. You know, but you, you can't tell a truster that. Uh, like I said, Sessions is not even in government anymore. As soon as Sessions thought the going was going to get tough, he recused himself. You know, he was one of those, you know, die-hard conservatives, but the moment he found out there was going to be a fight, he cucked out typical Republican. So, I am not optimistic. 
you know, I remember Trump saying the assault on the Second Amendment was going to stop. <laughs> How is that working out for you people? And on a final note, you notice like in history when there's been favorite, you know, I mean, popular show trials on TV, you know, where some minorities' rights were violated or allegedly violated, and the accused was acquitted. Then all of a sudden, the federal government wants to swoop in and try to try this person again, not for the same crime, but for civil rights violations. Notice that the federal government isn't swooping in on these tyrannical governors and mayors and trying them for civil rights violations. Something to think about. Y'all have a good day. And oh yeah, trust the plan.